returned itself to the official floor. So she cannot take the replacement apparatus for five for unauthorized use and line judge will take zero three for apparatus leaving the floor area. What happens, as we said before, if a gymnast after she retrieved the reserve apparatus does not remove her own apparatus from the official floor area, she took it, which means that she took the reserve apparatus. And then after she worked, the apparatus returned by itself at the end of the exercise. This is a penalty zero three. We finish generalities part. Now we do the DB in general, overview. RGI, we have DB panel, highest nine DB. Remember we need a minimum one jump, minimum one balance, minimum one rotation. Must be present in the exercise not required in the nine highest body difficulty. What does this mean? It means that you can have balance passe or uh, pivot passe zero one, which are not counted from your nine highest. So your minimum one balance, minimum one rotation, minimum one jump, they do not require to be from the nine highest. Maximum recombined body difficulties. The first five are, are evaluated in chronological order and two full body weights. This is very important because the DB judges forget to evaluate the full body weights. And the DA panel, first 20 DA. Remember to judge your minimum two of each fundamental and minimum one of each fundamental. For senior group, what are the requirements? The first 10 difficulty, E valued 0.1, used in S and steps or as waves. Any DB value 0.2 points or more used in R and any DB used in difficulty exchange. So we have four to six DB, four to six difficulty exchanges. And we have minimum one simultaneous jump, minimum one simultaneous balance, minimum one simultaneous rotation, maximum one combined body difficulty, maximum one R, two full body waves. The DA panel, we have first 18 difficulty collaborations, minimum three C, minimum maximum three combined CR plus multiple, minimum of two each specific fundamental. Leaps with back bend. Remember, job performed with a large deviation more than 20 per persecution the base, if available in the table without backbend, only if it is available in the table without backbend, and according to the basic characteristics. You see, it's not a DB05 anymore because it's a big deviation, large deviation, and it became a DB03. This is very important because you cannot evaluate the DB03 later in the exercise because it's a repetition. In series, gymnast attempts three GT back bend. <coughs> Excuse me but deviation is greater than 20 degrees. She has one 
technical element per leap. So we have exception for deviations and handling, three leaps. The, the three leaps would be zero four, zero six, exception for the deviations. Or would be zero six, zero six, Will be zero six, zero four, zero six, three series of identical uh, jumps. If you open the code of points, you will find this is an exception. Then we have two cases. Gymnast performed in her routine first jeté jump zero four. And then later in the exercise, she came to attempt the three jeté back bend, but the first one was with large deviation. So you cannot give the first one because it's a repetition of the jeté 04. So it's a zero, zero six, zero six. Zero six, zero have zero four. One is zero because it's a repetition. Then we have the day jump isolated. Then we have the series of three back bends. But she has the one in the middle with large deviation. In that case, only the first and zero and zero. Because it's a repetition and this is no longer the zero six zero six are no longer series. They are interrupted and no longer series. You will ask me what is the difference between this one and the first one. The first two identical jumps as series, two leaps in a series. But this JT4 in the middle cut the series. So we cannot calculate the third one. Okay, cases with with three 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 leaps with throw and catch. Only four identical leaps. Four identical leaps only. We have throw, GT. She attempted, but she had a big deviation. You take 04, 06, 06. So we will give the one with the throw, 04. The one in the middle, zero, and the catch is 06. Why the one in the middle became zero? Because it has no apparatus handling and they are different. They are only identical leaps. They are no longer identical because of the deviation. So you gave zero four, zero, and zero six because it is coordinated with a catch. The opposite, we will give the zero six, zero, and zero four because here is coordinated with a throw, here is coordinated with a catch, and under the flight jump is not coordinated with any technical apparatus handling, and we only give full values if they are identical. Then we have 06, 04 in the middle, the same case like before, and 06 
we cannot give the catch because it will be a repetition. So it is zero, six, zero, zero. Why we didn't give here in the middle zero, four? Because it is coordinated. We cannot give the one in the middle because it is not coordinated with any throw or catch. So it's a zero. And then this is a repetition. So it's a zero. Perfect execution, zero, six, zero, six, zero, six. We give everything. And let's make examples. Is it possible we close the mics, please? Microphones, can we close, please, the microphones? Can we please all make sure that our microphones are closed? Thank you. Let's check examples. One more time. You saw the second jump, it was with big deviation. So we gave 06, 04, 06, 06. Because it's with apparatus handling, and this is exception in the code of point. One more time. Did you see that there was no medium circle or large circle in the second jump? So we will give zero six plus zero plus zero six. Okay. Quote pivots are only evaluated until an interruption. If there is a hop between the rotating shape and the open position, the rotating shape is counted. If there is a hop, we count the rotating shape, is counted. Rotations after the hop are not counted. Anything after the hop is not counted. Let's check this example. One more time. Only zero one. She hopped after the first rotation. If one rotation is incomplete, not 360 degrees, the incomplete rotation is not counted and any rotations after are not counted. And this is very important. We saw in many World Cups rotations, especially the horizontal one, are not complete, 360 degrees. You stop to count. It becomes like this, two, four, six. That's the fourth one was not complete, 360 degrees. You cannot count after. You stop to count until she finished 360 degrees. Remember that DB must be performed with minimum one fundamental and or non-fundamental apparatus technical element. Each DB must be performed with a minimum one new apparatus technical element not performed previously in the routine, no repetition. A DB with only repeated technical element will not be valid. A DB with a repeated technical element 
plus a new technical element will be evaluated due to the new technical element. Let's see examples. What do we mean? So she had a throw in the jump and the balance foot A, she had the rotations of the hoop and then she had the throw again. So the rotations of the hoop calculated the balance foot A. She had a new technical element. One more time. Imbalance with A, she had what? Check again. There a large circle and small Rosinka balance was not evaluated because she didn't have anything new. Let's check those examples. not complete. During the body difficulty was not correct. So the DB is not valid. Did you see the small drop of the apparatus of the ball? This is a drop, it's not a bounce. One more time. This is a drop. During the balance, what's her apparatus technical element? Check it again. Holding, holding. No apparatus technical element during the forte balance. Here there is a catch of a small throw, so the DB is valid. One more time.
You see the roll was not complete during the balance. One thing I want to say, you might see some gymnasts from your countries in this presentation. This doesn't mean that they perform it in this way in the next competition. In this competition, they made the mistake, but please, this is not a way to direct yourself how to judge the exercise. The large role during a balance, the impulse for the role and the impulse for the DB can be done at the same time. After the initial impulse, the balance DB is expected to be fixed for the duration of the role. The whole role must be during the balance. For Fauté balance, one fundamental or non-fundamental apparatus technical element is required at any phase of the balance. This means that during the swing, impulse, or later. For static balance, for Fauté balance during the swing, impulse, or later. The role must be complete in fixed shape in the static balance. In Fauté balance, in fixed shape and or during the swing. The role must end in fixed shape during the balance, in Fauté balance, any time before closing the leg on two feet. Let's see examples. This is a fixed balance. You could see for Bosonova the start during and ending in the fixed shape. You could see. This is a start during the swing. She started during the swing, but ended in a fixed shape. Here you could see the start before swing impulse. She started the role before the swing impulse. What does this mean? That she does not have the two segments, large segments during the DB. This is the most important thing. The two large segments must be during the body difficulty. You see, she started, she already did not start the swing yet before the swing impulse. Pivot on relevé, um, I could see on the chat some question. I will answer all your questions in the, in the end, so I don't stop the presentation, but it doesn't mean that I will not answer, but I will answer all the questions. Pivots on relevé versus flat foot. We have a difficulty performed with the first 360 degree rotation arriving at relevé is evaluated as a pivot, as long as the 360 degree base rotation is completed in relevé. If at any point the heel touches the floor, no further rotations are counted. A difficulty performed on flat foot is evaluated as ponché. If the heel lifts from the floor, during a ponche rotation, what does the judge do? She stops evaluating the amount of rotation. Either way, the judge stops to evaluate. No further rotations are counted. If from relevé to flat foot, she stops, and from flat foot to relevé, she stops. 
Can you close the mic, please? Microphones, can we close the microphones, please? Combined body difficulties, two body difficulties performed in a connected Marwan, sorry. Close the microphones for everyone, please. Sorry, Noha. Thank you, Giza. Thank you. Okay. The combined body difficulties. We have two body difficulties performed in a connected consecutive manner without hop and without traveling on the support leg. One apparatus technical element per component. What does it mean? It means for every difficulty, we must have one apparatus technical element. So one body difficulties, we have the value of the first one plus the value of the second one. If incorrectly performed, each component is evaluated separately. This is the reason why we are asking every component to have one apparatus technical element, because if it doesn't have, it will not be valid. So if incorrectly performed, only first component valid, or only second component valid, or both components valid as two separate body difficulties, two isolated body difficulties, not as one combined because of the connection. Remember, RGI maximum three per routine or RGG maximum one per routine. This is very important to remember the combined body difficulties for T. Rotation difficulty number 24 for T may be performed as the first or second part of the combined. If after the for T pivot, the connection with another pivot will be executed in relevé. So the last rotation in for T with the connection with another pivot will be executed in relevé. They must immediately be together in relevé. Rotation difficulties number 25, illusion, may be performed as the first or second part of a combined difficulty if the illusion itself, rotation part, and the connection with another pivot is executed in relevé without heel support. So the connection and delusion without heel support. Then this is the clarifications that came in illusions with multiple rotations, especially illusion backwards. Heel support is permitted between rotations on relevé. Why? Because this is the technique of illusions. You have to perform heel support. So between the first difficulty and the illusion, the connection and the illusion, they have to be in relevé. Afterwards, if you want to do two or three or four illusion backwards, it's okay to put the heel support because this is the only way to perform this technique. Combined body difficulties, balances four to five, nine to 10, 12 to 15 and 18 with hand support, also for tape balance with these shapes can be used as part of a combined difficulty. But another balance must be either with a change in the trunk position, upright, trunk backward at the horizontal, bank bend with split, trunk side at the horizontal, 
or the leg directions forward, side, and backward. So we must have a change. The leaps. No takeoffs or landing on two feet. No successive split leaps. This is possible to have from the same shape. Koza, koza. This is possible. Balances are only in the relevé. No slow turn. No dynamic balances except for T balance and may be used as the first part. With the help, change in trunk position or leg direction. Okay. Rotations, only on relevé, except Ponche or Sakura as second rotation. Only as second rotation are accepted. This is very important because we saw examples with first rotation. Pote pivot as first or second part, illusion possible if performed on relevé. No rotations that have more than one shape are allowed. So we have some examples of combined body difficulties for evaluation. It's okay, one DB combined because both have technical elements and connections were okay. One more time. Two separate DBs. Did you see her leg when going down? She touched before going up to the butterfly jump. So leg touches the floor. So these are two separate body difficulties. Both are valid, but two separate. One more time. It's a 1 dB 0.5 incomplete large circle during the second dB. So this is not a large circle or a medium circle for the hoop. You see, she didn't do anything with the arm. So the second DB is not valid. Only one DB, 0 0.5, second DB was not valid because there was no shape. We didn't see what she want to perform. DB1 is 0, 06 and DB2 is 0, 02. This is an invalid switch. It's not a switch. Okay. DB1, incorrect apparatus technical element zero, doesn't have any apparatus technical element. DB2, incomplete rotation and incomplete shape. There is no unstable during jumps. It's not possible to have unstable during jumps, only during rotations. Let's see those examples.
Two separate DB. Remember when I told you Sakura or the bond shape of it can only be a sec second part. And this one, she started with flat foot. So it, it's a DB104 flat foot and DB205. Here, DB1 is 0, 0,5 and the DB2 is 0. Why? The small throw from the first footy jump, the footy balance, cannot validate the second one. Small throw can validate only one DB. Each DB must be performed with minimum one new apparatus technical element. Small throw belongs to the footy. Check again. Small throw in balance passe and catch in a brusinka. She cannot do the small throw in footy and catch of the small throw in a balance. This cannot validate two body difficulties. Small throw is only one dB. So the second one is not valid. Sorry for this shape because it is from a mobile, but I want you to see the third shape. Is it valid or not? The gymnast completing a combined difficulty with forte balance must be very clearly showing all three forms of this difficulty and then move to the next component of the combined difficulty. If the third phase of footy is not present, the difficulty will be counted as isolated DB. <laughs> you see here, the passé is not seen. The passé is like a développé to the next one. So only DB05. And the third shape is not counted as isolated, the back bend. We cannot calculate, it's one dB. Again, this is one dB because the passé is shown as a développé to the next one. So we cannot count them as two body difficulties. They are one body difficulty. Let's check. You saw this before. And we said that this is two separate body difficulties, correct? Because flat foot and relevé. Next. What do you think here? Here, I wanted to show you the difference the gymnast performed the balance with a back bend and then balance a brusinka. And in many, many cases, there is no differences between the back bend and the abrosinka because of the trunk. They are in the same position. So we have to be careful if there is a big deviation and the same trunk position, the second shape will be repetition. Let's watch again one more time. OK, 
Okay, so she here is okay. She made balance with the back bend one combine, balance front and abrozinka, she changed the trunk. It's okay to combine, but be attentive with the trunk positions. Switch leap. We have a problem with the switch leap. Because we have to see a switch of leg, not a turn of the leg. The technique is wrong. So this is 0.2, incorrect switch technique, deviation of 0.3. This is a switch leap 0.4. This is incorrect switch technique. This is not a switch leg leap. This is normal rotate turn. This is a correct technique. Look at her switch. Switch leap 0.7, leap with switch of straight leg under the body. Her legs didn't come from turn, but they came from a switch. Watch it one more time. Okay. Then we have this switch leap also. Normal switch leap DB05. Combined body difficulties for the group. Very, very important to check as a judge the combined body difficulties for group because they can lose one exchange if they lose the connection. They can lose the last body difficulty, whatever it's exchange or body difficulty uh, element. So all five gymnasts must perform the same two DB identically and simultaneously. If not, difficulty is not valid. If one or more gymnasts perform only one of the two DB, the D performed identically will be validated. Can be used for the special requirement, the combined as one jump, one balance, one rotation, if both components are from the same group. If they are making two body difficulties from the same component, two jumps, two balances, two rotations, this can be used from the one jump, one balance, one rotation. You cannot use combined in difficulty exchange or R. Maximum one per routine, additional DB will be evaluated as isolated DB. The value of the combined body difficulty is the value of each independent DB added together as long as the connection is executed according to the requirements. If the requirements for the connection or one of the DBs are not met, the two DB will be evaluated as isolated DB and validated if performed according to the requirements for each. Only first DB valid or only second DB valid or two isolated DB valid. If one or more gymnasts do not perform the connection according to the rules for a combined body difficulty, this counts as two, as I told you, two of the four, six dB, and as two of the maximum 10 dB or 10 difficulty exchange. So be careful with the combined. Let's check examples. One gymnast was late, but in this case, we count the combined body difficulty with E penalty.
Next. This is okay with deviation 0.3 and lack of synchronization 0.1. DB1 is not valid, apparatus handling, and DB2 is not valid due to loss of apparatus. Check again. Look at this gymnast. She does not perform anything with the hoop. And then the second gymnast for the DB2 lost the apparatus. The gymnast who is near the red line, near the carpet, on the left, is not doing anything with the apparatus. And then this gymnast lost in the second one. Two separate DBs, why? Because there was a heel support, two isolated DBs. Remember I told you, if there are two, if there is a hop, they become from the two of the four, six dB or two of the 10 dBs. This is very important. The combined are very tricky in the groups. Hop, they go flat, heel support. They go hop and they go heel support two isolated dBs. Next. Body difficulties, this is not the combined now. Body difficulties for a group, check. Here, one gymnast did not perform the jump, so the DB is zero. DB valid, 0.6, penalty 01 for incorrect shape. This is an overall penalty, not for each gymnast. DB valid, but deviation is 0.3. And then they lose penalty in correct shape and lack of synchronization, but the DB is valid. The DB is okay. DB is zero. Look at the gymnast who's performing snakes. They don't have four to five snakes. The balls are okay. So the DB is zero. Look at the snakes, not four to five snakes in the first rotation. So the DB is finished, zero. Does not present correct snakes. E penalties, incorrect shape, lack of synchronization and snakes shape. DB, okay, why? Because this was a lack of synchronization, okay? But for a balance with rapid succession, E penalty, lack of synchronization, but the difficulty is valid. The first DB is not valid because the ball was not with apparatus handling. The second is correct. Again, they corrected this mistake. Okay. Let's take a break for 10 minutes.
We come back for exchanges and the DA. Okay. We come, we come back at uh, 10 o'clock. So zero, I don't know what time is it for you, but it will be exactly at the hour. 10 minutes break, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we can start. Uh, there is one question only on the chat, so I will answer that quickly. How can we differentiate between hop and slide? So, good question. The slide is when the does not leave the floor. So it means that she is moving along the carpet, but her heel did not leave the floor. It's that she jumped from one place to another, a small jump. So this is the hop. The slide is okay. And they said this is normal for them during day to slide but it's not normal to hop. So this is why there is a penalty for hop, but there is no um, penalty for sliding because sliding is okay. Okay, Hulan, I will do my best so I can repeat myself during the video. We can start now with the exchanges. Difficulty with exchange. Difficulty with exchange with one type of apparatus may be performed by the five gymnasts together, throwing at the same moment or in subgroups. This is very important in five groups, throwing at different moments. Difficulty with exchange with two types of apparatus may be performed by the five gymnasts together, throwing at the same moment or in subgroups, throwing at different moments. They must subgroups at different moments moments. What is the requirements? Requirements is minimum four, maximum six difficulty exchange evaluated in performance order will be counted. If the 10th difficulty, this is important, this is a question that we received in the exercise, is a difficulty exchange with the DB, so we don't know to decide which priority goes to the difficulty body. The difficulty exchange has the priority. Why? Because everybody can see the throw, everybody can see the cap. So, in this case, if it's the test, difficulty exchange. Excuse me, can we please close the mics? Marwan, can you please turn off the mics for everyone, please? Thank you. Every DB requires a valid apparatus technical element. So an isolated DB under the flight of a high throw may be performed only one time in each exercise. If the DB is performed with a throw or catch that is repeated identically, the DB is not valid. Let's check some exchanges. The exchange is valid because it started inside the floor area. The DB exchange is O2. 
with the criteria, the value is 04. Watch it one more time. Okay. Next. The exchange is value 05, long and high and outside the usual, different criteria of catch, so we didn't give. So 0 0.5 is the value of the exchange. Exchange is not valid. Press group is not finishing. And the second subgroup started. Remember when I told you subgroups is very important. The timing of the throw, the first group must catch. So the second group starts the throw. Exchange is not valid. Exchange outside visual without hands, long and high, 0.6 with a DB, 0.2. Remember, the illusion is a difficulty body, 0.2. Value is 0.3, ribbons have under the leg and balls have without hands. Here also the ribbons are under the leg and balls have outside visual field. This is considered for ribbon outside, uh, under the leg. Here we have a value of an 0.8. We have outside visual with the rotations of the hoop who's passing through and catch without hands during a rotation with passing through. So the value of the exchange is 0 0.8. So we have now the full body waves, the last part, not the last part, we still have the R, full body waves. So we need to have a checklist for yourself. The whole body participates, sequential movement, contraction and decontraction, sufficient apparatus handling, DB wave, one apparatus technical element, other waves in motion. If the whole body participates, but some segments have insufficient amplitude, the wave is valid with an E penalty. An exercise with less than two full body waves performed separately from each other will be penalized 0.3, for each missing wave. Non-difficulty body waves. Because we were asked how we can do it for the groups not to have body difficulties from the table. Those are the non-difficulty waves. Valid as a wave. Valid as a wave. Not whole body is participating, so not valid as a wave. Missing the decontraction, so not valid as a wave. Valid as a wave, but with an E penalty. One valid wave. The repetition of the waves does not say that this is two waves, it's just one wave. Missing the decontraction because from the knee to, to the toes did not work.
missing decontraction. The rest of the body did not work. Full body waves in RGG, each wave must be performed identically by all five gymnasts. If not, wave is not valid. Each wave may be performed simultaneously or in very rapid succession by the five gymnasts together or by subgroups. Not performed by all five gymnasts. This gymnast in the middle did not perform it. One more time, check it. She did not perform the wave. Performed by all five gymnasts, but the penalty 0 0.1. Performed by all five gymnasts, but penalty 0 0.1. Performed by all five gymnasts, but missing the decontraction. Performed by all five gymnasts, penalty 0 0.1. Dynamic elements with rotation. High throw, minimum two dynamic elements of body rotation under the flight without any step or displacements is not an interruption and is tolerated. So a pause is accepted. Catch of the apparatus. We have maximum five for senior RGI, senior RGG, maximum one. They are evaluated in chronological order. R with a rebound higher than the knee level or Rebound coat with the hands is not valid. If the art is performed by a group of gymnasts in subgroups, each subgroup must have the same type of apparatus. And each subgroup may use a separate direction. So they must have the same apparatus. Pre acrobatic elements may be used in R, the same group of pre acrobatic elements for all five gymnasts, either isolated in a series or repeated within one R in any order. Pre acrobatic elements connected to a DB or used for choreography are not recorded by the DB judges and may be repeated. This is only for groups. Pre acrobatic elements we have the cartoon that end lying flat are accepted as, they lie flat on the shoulders, are accepted as complete 360 degree rotations. Fish flop forwards, fish flop backwards, start or end lying flat are accepted as complete 360 degree rotations. Lateral rotation passing through a bridge, ending with a kick into a split, this pre-acrobatic element only, this is a pre-acrobatic element only, the ending position is not a DB. So it should not be evaluated as a DB. Lateral rotation with a trunk arched back. This element is evaluated from the moment that the gymnast starts arching backward into a bridge. The rotation may continue on the knee without interruption to complete the 360 degrees. Vertical rotation, standing one foot, rotation with one foot on the floor. Includes all the rotations that may be completed 360 on one leg. Also, if the gymnast uses a step to connect to the next rotation. So this is tolerated. Standing two feet, turning steps or rotations with two feet on the floor. Includes all the rotations that need a step onto the next leg in order to complete 360 example 3K. The seated lateral roll with or without passing through split. A seated lateral roll belongs to the group seated regardless of the starting position. When the gymnast starts up and goes seated down, two seated lateral rolls starting uh, up do not give change of level. So she has to have another thing, not from up to down to start the rotations gives a change of level. 
The vertical rotations may be used in R, the same group of vertical rotations for all five gymnasts, either isolated in a series or repeated with one R in any order. Each group of vertical rotations may be used one time in R or difficulty exchange. The same vertical rotation group may not be used in both R and difficulty exchange. Which criteria are valid? Each rotation must be from the same group of rotations for all five gymnasts to be evaluated, the same group of rotations. The criteria must be performed identically with each type of apparatus to be evaluated. The lowest number of criteria performed by all five gymnasts on the throw is evaluated and the lowest number of criteria. Let's check what does it mean standing on two feet. This is rotation standing on two feet. This is another example of, uh, of the PK. Onto the next leg, one to the next step to the next leg. This is examples of two feet. A not so clean performance, but this is example of two feet. Now, what is example of one foot? This is one foot, completes 360 on one leg. Also, if the gymnast uses a step to connect to the next rotation, each rotation must be 360 degree. So she cannot perform one and a half rotation and then half rotation. This is not possible. Each rotation must be 360 degrees. When R is performed with a DB, DB, which may include multiple rotations from a single impulse, counts as one rotation, except for illusions performed with intermediary steps. An attempted DB with rotations performed in a non-valid manner does not count as a rotation nor as a DB criteria. So if we have, for example, illusion that was not complete rotation, you will not give the DB criteria and you will not give the rotation criteria. R is valid if the base definition is complete. A DB with 180 rotation does not count as a rotation nor as a DB criteria are valid if the base definition is met without this rotation. A repetition of a DB with a rotation does not count as a rotation nor as a DB criteria. So we cannot give it twice. Are valid if the base definition is met. It is not possible to include a DB without rotation. The last rotation of R can be used as a preparation for a DB without rotation. So R will not be valid. What is a series? A series of three or more identical uninterrupted pre-acrobatic rotations performed under the flight. So they must be three identical. So this is okay because she has a throw and a catch. This is okay because she has three uninterrupted under the flight. This is okay because she throws on the first, but she still has three under the flight. This is not okay, no series. But the R is valid, why? Because the base definition two under the flight is met, but you cannot give criteria series because she throws on the first, two rotations and catch on after the last. So she doesn't have three under the flight. So series is not valid. The same here, she throws before two rotations and catches on the third. The series criteria is not valid because you must have three under the flight. Okay, and then we have No series, but we have R valid. R with series of DB, three identical turning leaps, any type. Throw in the first, second under the flight, catch in the third. Illusion DB, three single or one triple. 
throw before, during the first, second under the flight, catch during or after the third, not catch before. So we have a special case for the three jeté and pronat. We throw on the first, jeté under the flight, and catch on the third. For illusion, we have throw before or during the first and catch on the third or after the third. It is not possible to catch after the second and perform the third while catching. It's not possible to catch after the second illusion and give series. The R is not valid at all because you do not have two rotations under the flight. And the first one will be DB02 under the flight, which is not correct. So the R call R is not valid. A series is defined by uninterrupted rotations for illusions performed with intermediary steps. One step between each illusion is permitted. Two or more steps or any other types of additional support between any of the illusion is an interruption. Be careful between the steps between illusions. Not valid at all without series because DB value, as I told you, zero two points or more under the flight is not permitted. Let's see examples. Very good. Three GT, throw on the first and catch on the third. R3 plus series plus DB and DB04 plus 04 plus 04. R3 plus series plus no hand. Also valid because she has four rotations and she caught on the fourth. R3 series plus no hands plus passing through. Outside visual without hand R3 series plus DB. You will tell me, but she changed the direction. It is possible. Nothing in the code says it's not possible to change the direction. Most important, no extra two steps. And most important, complete full rotations. What happens here? What? R zero because she catch before the last rotation. Watch more. Incomplete rotations in R. Let's check them. This is very important because if you don't have two under the flight, they cancel the whole R. You see, first is okay, second was only half, and third was okay. Let's check again. Incomplete second rotation on one foot, R is zero. Watch again to see where is the problem here. Here she had the two under the flight complete, but where is the problem? The R is only valid if the gymnast touches the floor with her hand. Here she touched with the apparatus. She touched with the clubs. Look, throw. This means she has a DB under the flight. 
0.2, which is not according to the rules. She can only touch with the hand, not with the head of the clubs. Watch one more time. Not possible, are not valid. In complete rotation. Watch one more time. Sorry. The last rotation was not complete. And R is three illusion is an exception, and therefore R is zero. You see, she completed and then they made the pause. Outside visual without hands are three series DB and catch outside visual 0.9. Incomplete rotation, R not valid, last one. Last rotation. Check how many steps she took between the two illusions. Okay, so catch during third illusion, it's okay, but the series is interrupted with steps, are not valid. Again, the same thing, catch during third illusion, but the series is interrupted with steps, are not valid. or throws and or catches outside the visual field in a back bend position or a backward rotational element. When the trunk is above the horizontal or at the horizontal, the arm must be past the vertical line of the trunk. When the trunk is below horizontal, the throw or catch must be at the chest level or lower or anywhere on the opposite posterior back side of the body. To receive outside the visual field for a throw, rebound, or rethrow, it is not enough that the apparatus travels backwards. The throwing arm must be in a zone defined as outside visual. So this is must be outside visual for the exchanges. It's not enough that we are doing like this. This is not outside visual when we go with the back. The throwing arm must be past the vertical. Catch of a club on the inner side of the hand or forearm using the other club is not considered without the help of the hands. So part three for DA, RGI. We have difficulty of apparatus, minimum one, maximum 20, missing minimum one penalty, but no, we don't have this. Everybody makes the, uh, try to make the 20. Fundamental elements, minimum two of each for each missing. This is important. Do not forget to write down the fundamentals. DA judges of basis and criteria. Both criteria executed during this one base, not consecutive. 
if we have two apparatus bases, only one of the two bases is catch from a high throw plus minimum one criteria. Criteria must be executed during both bases. Very important that the two bases must be performed without interruption or pause between them. This is a summary of the fundamentals, DA and DB. What's for DA, what's for DB? You asked for this page as judges and coaches. It's on the STS. It's available to print on the STS for you to have it while judging to make your life more easier. Free rotations of the hoop around its axis. The free rotations of the hoop around its axis around part of the body or on a part of the body. Not valid on open palms. This is for DA. It is different from the apparatus technical element. Fundamental group with or without hands. Base for DA without hands, without the open palms. Let's check the difference. This is valid for the body difficulty, but it's not a DA. Fundamental okay, body difficulty okay. But it's not a DA. It used the hands during DA. For the DA, this is okay without hands and without open palms. So DA03, fundamental okay. DB, okay. One more time. Bounces. We have one high bounce, knee 11 and higher from the floor or series of minimum three of small bounces. An active bounce consists of an active release. The gymnast pushes the ball to the floor and retrieves it. Elements where the ball falls passively to the floor do not belong to any apparatus technical group. So this is not a DA, no fundamental, and no, this is nothing because the gymnast did not actively bounce. He did not actively bounce, she knows DB. Yeah. Must be both on the throw, it must be on the so if I have two Kembaliin. Jangan. Oh, jangan. Ini tadi dari Woody. Jadi nah, namanya Woody. W U E. Giselle, from where did you lose me? Because I understood that you lost the connection. From the small throw and catch or from before? Yeah, yeah, no, it uh, has been disconnected. Yes, but which part, Giselle? Before, before the. Before this? Yes. From the bounce? Where is the, where is the presentation, Marwan? 
Ah, you don't see my presentation. Yeah, presentation okay. has been lost also. She, she needs to uh, share again, please. Yes, we can see. Well, this I one, yes, boss. A long time or what? No, no, no this uh, one. Minutes ago, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we've said that one high bounce, we only have one high bounce knee level and higher from the floor or series. An active bounce consists of an active release. In this case, the gymnast does not have active release. So it's not a DA, it's not a fundamental and it's not a DB. Watch it one more time. This is nothing because she did not participate actively in the bounce. Now, small throw and catch. This is very important. The minimum two criteria must be both on the throw or, or both on the, on the catch. You cannot have one on the throw and one on the catch. The small throw and catch is weighted in chronological order. So if we have two criteria performed during the throw, but for any reason, one or both criteria are not valid, the whole DA is not valid. I cannot give the criteria for catch because this is one DA, small throw and catch. So let's see this example. This is small throw and catch, but only one criteria valid outside visual because the rotation is not complete. Therefore, I cannot give the catch. Catch is not valid for DA. The whole DA is not valid because this is one thing, small throw and catch. Okay. Hoop and ball, apparatus from a large uh, high throw and large roll. When catching with a large roll that starts with the arm to the front or to the side, criteria outside visual field is not valid for the catch and not recognized as a minimum one criteria executed during both. You must have a different criteria, a DB, during this to validate it. Let's check. For the large roll and ca catched for the two bases. This is not considered outside visual. Why? Because the gymnast can see the hoop and adjust herself. Okay, so this is not considered as outside visual. She must have a second criteria. Look at this example. We said this is not valid as outside visual. She needs an extra criteria. Look at this one. This is okay because it's behind the vertical position. Look at the small picture here. Her arm is behind the vertical position. So this is considered outside visual. And it is valid. Large roll with small throw. The large roll from the neck to the feet. Direct and without stop. Small throw from the feet. Catch the ball with the back. The small throw is combined with the roll. Its catch does not become a new DA. What does not mean? It means that from an initial impulse, you must have a stop and then start a new DA. If it's one impulse, you cannot have two DAs. Let's see examples. This is one DA.
one DA from one impulse. There is no stop to see the beginning of the small throw. Here there is a stop and small throw. You can see one more time. So long roll, large roll, plus small throw. So 2DA, 04 plus 02, because it has marked the beginning and end. Those are the DA criteria. And outside of the visual field, the position of the arm, we said, and the trunk, we must see where is it. This is not outside visual because it's not behind the vertical. The trunk is above the horizontal. You see above the horizontal, you see the marking line here is above the horizontal. The arm must be past the vertical line of the trunk. And this is not the case. It's not past the vertical. Look at this example. It is past the vertical. Look at her body. Look at the horizontal line and look at her arms past the vertical. This is okay for outside of the visual field. Under the leg, when mills are performed with one arm on each side of the leg, the mills themselves occur under the leg. And the criteria under the leg is valid. It's not a problem. For the ribbon, whole stick held in the hand, minimum the stick must be under the leg to see a shape. You see, the stick is under the leg. The stick is under the leg. In the last shape of the forte, the whole stick was under the leg. This is okay. Now, rotational criteria 360 degree is required. This is very important. Let's check examples. This is okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's complete, 360. Complete 360. Complete 360. Also, it's okay. Not complete. You see, she's missing a little bit tiny piece. One more time. Not complete, 360. Not complete, 360. Not complete, 360. So the criteria 360 is very, very important to be complete. Not complete, 360. Ribbon DA, be attentive to the 360 degree rotation, the spirals, the snakes, the work of the ribbon. Let's check, all of these are not valid, why? Why they are not valid? 
when she started the cartwheel, she doesn't have four to five circles of spirals. She doesn't have them. She started before, but during the, the cartwheel, she doesn't have. You see, she doesn't have during the cartwheel here. She started the rotation and nothing of spirals under the leg. Nothing of spirals under the leg. Before, okay, but during the rotation, during the criteria, nothing. No 360 degrees. No spirals during the rotation on the floor. When she started to rotate, she didn't do anything with the ribbon. Let's check together. Where are the problems here? Rotation not complete, you see? 360 degrees during the rotation of the hoop is not complete. First she made the rotations of the hoop and then she made the rotation of the body. Rotation is not complete. So DA not valid. Here. This is a perfect catch with a roll outside visual in a DB, correct? Okay, one more time. Large roll with a catch in a body difficulty. Here. Rotation not complete and roll not complete because the roll comes to end here on her forearm. So rotation not complete and roll not complete. One more time. This one. Catch outside visual in a wave, this is valid. This is valid. So we have to check every case separately. Now we have focus areas. We will go through them very quickly. Apparatus bases, bounce versus rebounds versus catch. Rebounds on the body, this is Okay, rebound on the body without high throw. With high throw. Okay, also valid. Then we have the active bounce, valid. This is not valid. As we said before, this is a release without any active bounce, without impulse. So this is not valid. Not a DA, not a fundamental, and definitely if it's a DB, not valid. Also valid because it's rebound from the floor. Then we have direct from any height, catch direct retrieval without hands.
valid. Valid. Why? Because rebounds without hands. It's a direct retrieval with a rebounds without hands. For the R, maximum to be knee height, also for the difficulty exchanges. Knee height. This is valid. Knee height, you see, from her elbows. Possible. You cannot take both criteria. Only one of those. Why here base is not valid? Because it's not a direct catch. So this is not a valid base, not direct catch. Or use of hands when they bounce on the floor and catch with the use of hands are not valid. You see? Just bounce and catch. This is not a direct catch. Are not valid. Or when it is higher than the knee level. The bounce is higher than the knee level. This is not valid. One more time. Use of the hands. Just like this with a rebound is not valid. Outside the visual. In a back bend or backwards rotation outside the visual. If the arms work at the chest level or lower, remember, because this criteria is very important. This is outside visual. This is okay. The catch is okay. Outside visual. But this throw is not outside visual. Only the catch. Watch one more time. Because many coaches put this as throw outside visual during back bend. No. Only the catch. The catch is not valid because she took it from the side. Watch one more time. Catch is not valid because she took it from the side. Only the criteria is not valid outside visual. But R will be valid because she has two, D, two rotations under the flight. What happens if the arms work on the opposite side of the legs? Opposite side, valid. This is valid because it's the opposite side of the leg, outside visual field. This is valid because opposite side of the legs. Outside visual field in throws. This is valid. This is also valid. The throw is not valid because it's not past the vertical. So the throw is not valid, but the rethrow under the leg is outside visual field. One, watch it one more time. This throw is not valid. Catch, rethrow under the leg, outside visual field. DA with two bases. Catch from a high throw, 
second base, minimum one criteria executed during both bases without interruption or both or pause between bases. Okay, this is not valid for boomerang and small throw and catch with a rebound. So here we have catch plus passing through without hands outside visual. Okay, this is the two bases together. Catch with passing through. They have the criteria together. Next. What is here? Only catch. Why? Because the passing through was not two large segments. The leg is not two large segments. The leg is one large segment. Here, catch plus passing through plus DB. So it is valid. Where is the problem here? Not direct passing. First she catch with one criteria and then she made the passing through. So these are not, as we said, remember here in the first page, without interruption or pause between the two bases. And in this example was with interruption. You see? Catch plus large roll. Without hands, it's okay, valid. Incomplete roll base, the catch with one criteria. So it is not valid. Why? Because the catch needs to be valid with two criteria in this case. And the roll was incomplete. You see how not two segments, not two large segments was incomplete roll. Catch plus roll plus rotation. The rotation starts too late. No two bays with the criteria. So what is the difference between Yana Kodratseva and this girl? Here, Yana made the catch and it, she already, her body moved down to start the rotation. While this gymnast, you see, start roll and then rotation, which is too late. Catch plus rotation, attention. The base rotation already includes without hands. Criteria is not valid. You need another criteria. Outside the visual field in body, in body rotation. So it's valid. Without hands, not valid for rotation. So no criteria valid for both bases. So she has catch, she has rotation. She's missing one criteria because you cannot give without hands. It's already part of this base rotation. Catch in a rotation in a DB. Not without hands in a DB. The criteria here is the DB. Rotation performed with hands. So she has a valid catch. Valid catch because she has a catch outside visual in a DB. 
but the rotation is not valid because it is performed with hands. So here is only one base catch in a DB outside visual. Catch plus small throw. Valid without hands outside visual in a DB. This is not a large roll, but a throw because you don't see two segments rolling. So it's a catch plus a small throw without hands outside visual in rotation. This is not a high throw. It's not double the height of the gymnast. So valid only as a small throw, 0.2. One DA for small throw and catch. This is not high. Only remember one DA for small throw and catch, not for the throw outside visual without hands, not for the catch. Only one for the small throw and catch. With pose, you see the transmission that happened was with pose or the small throw that happened was with pose. So only valid as catch. The new DA is after the catch. Last thing is one or two DAs. Let's check when you evaluate. Are those one DA or two DA as a judge? One DA. Rotation plus small throw because zero two, same impulse, same pre acrobatic element. Transmission plus rotation, but one DA, one impulse. Free rotation around axis plus small throw, one DA. Two DAs, transmission, stop, marking a new start and small throw. Watch it one more time. Small throw plus direct small throw. This is one DA because it's one impulse, one rotation. Unstable balance plus long roll, this is one DA, one impulse. Three rotations and small throw, this is one DA, one pre-acrobatic element. This is unstable and small throw, it's one DA. is also one DA, one mils plus small throw. Roll plus throw, one DA. Those are two DAs, the catch and the small throw to the other leg. So this is two DAs. Okay. Can I take just 15 minutes more maximum, Giselle? Yes, <clears throat> sorry, Noha. Yes, it's okay because I see people leaving the... Uh, I did uh, So if it's okay with everyone. Okay, yes, just I think 15 minutes. Okay, okay, okay. So 15 rotation, minutes break, yes? No, we continue just more 15 minutes. Ah, okay. I think it's okay. Okay. 
use of rotational elements, each group in only one R. Okay, pre-acrobatic elements. You can only use them, each group in only one R. DA and DB, each group in only one DA or DB connection, and maximum three in pre-acrobatics in R. Let's check this examples. One time forward. Second time forward in a DA. And third time in an R. So what will happen here? This is okay. This is okay, forward with a DB. This is not okay because this is a repetition. Each group in only one DA or DB connection. So the DA is not valid. Pre-acrobatic rotations and vertical rotations. The vertical rotations can be repeated identically, no maximum number. One time, second, and third. So the three DA with vertical rotations on two feet can be repeat, repeated, no problem. DB as rotations, 0 0.1 vertical rotations or 0 0.2 and higher rotation and DB. They are evaluated only as DB and maximum nine times in a DA. Each DB only one time series, okay as a DB, okay for R, only one time for DA. Let's check. So she repeated the illusion DB. What happens here? Illusion DB is okay. DA with a DB. And the second time she repeated the illusion in the R, the R is valid, R2 only, but without the illusion and without the body difficulty. Illusion DB, you cannot count it because it's a repetition, but you will count R2 because there are two other base rotations. Two other base rotations. DA for the RGG, first 18 difficulty groups, minimum three CC, minimum three CR, minimum three isolated multiple throw and catch, and minimum two of each specific fundamental. The minimum two of each specific fundamental group, five gymnasts simultaneously, very rapid succession, totally four times. They can do in five hoops, two rows and two rotations of the hoop around the axis and the three ribbons and two balls examples. They can do the snakes and spirals, and the figure eight, but they will be missing one time snakes and one time missing figure eight. Here, they made the snakes, but they are missing the figure eight in this example. So they will take penalty only for missing the figure eight. Difficulty is evaluated in chronological order. Minimum three CC, minimum three CR, and minimum three isolated multiple throw and catch. They must be performed among the first 18 collaboration difficulties. Those minimum requirements must be performed in the first 18. So this is the overall view of the collaborations, collaborations without high or long, is the basic definition met? They are registered as CC attempt. They must be, what is this? Participation of all five gymnasts, three identical and successive actions, construction, five apparatus plus five gymnasts in contact, not beginning or end of the routine. Is the CC valid any criteria? 
no high throw, no loss of apparatus, no loss of balance, no collision, no prohibited element or prohibited lift, pre-acrobatic, no repetition from another CC, no authorized technique. Let's see those CC examples. Basic definition is met, CC03. Not successive action, so basic is a definition is not met. Remember, they must be successive. One gymnast has no role in the CC. The basic definition is met because they had three consecutive <laughs> elements, three actions, but there was a high throw. So the CC is zero and it's considered as an attempt. The basic definition is okay, CC, no hands, O4. This is only one collaborative action, no CC attempt. It's okay. This is one action, no CC attempt. Basic definition is met. This is one action, so it is not an attempt. This is basic definition is okay, but we have a long throw, so the CC is not valid. Again, we have a high throw, so the CC is not valid. Basic definition is met, so it's okay. This is not three consecutive actions, so CC is not attempted. The basic definition is met, so CC is valid. This is not three consecutive actions, they are together, so no CC attempt. We have two large throws, so the CC is zero. The basic definition is met that they have a high throw. And the same here. So all these examples, if we take out the high throw, and the CC is correctly performed, then they are valid. What's the sequence and what's the construction? They had two CCs in a sequence. So one gymnast, the first one, left gymnast had no role. Main action is by three gymnasts pushing the balls here in front. This is inside the visual field. But second one is basic definition is met because they could have three actions. The construction here, final pause and one gymnast only is participating. So it's not a CC attempt. This one also led to the final pause. So it is not 
a CC attempt. What does it mean? It is not a CC attempt. It means that it is not counted from your 18 collaborations. Basic definition is met, but not fixed for one second. CC is attempted. CR, you must have a throw of the apparatus in CR. Throw of a gymnast on apparatus may, marks the beginning of the CR. Throw of the apparatus may be performed directly to a partner or to herself. In case she's receiving an apparatus from her partner, both throat must be high or long or large. So this is, uh, in case of a series, this is very, very important. The apparatus must be in flight during both rotations of the gymnast. Is it possible to perform a CR2 or CR3 with the gymnast performing their throw, rotation, catch in rapid succession? Yes, it is possible. All rotation elements must have a 360 degrees. In this case, the CR2 is not valid as the rotation of the main action gymnasts is not complete. Let's check. Both gymnasts, main action gymnasts, the rotations were not complete. So CR is not valid. The base value of a CR is 0.1, and then we increase by the additional criteria. Eventual criteria must be executed identically by all rotating gymnasts to be valid. You see? Criteria on the catch are not identical. C are valid, but criteria is not valid because they do not perform the same criteria on the catch. So the CR is valid, but criteria not valid. The series, I said the same like for individuals, they must have two under the fly to be valid as a series. Criteria series here is not valid, check. The CR is valid, but the criteria series is not valid. Check where they are throwing. Look, the stop position is where she throw on the beginning of the rotation. You see the hoop, this is where she throw. Not valid as a series here, why? Because this is not a pre-acrobatic. So this is not a pre-acrobatic element. CR is valid, but series is not valid. Criteria under the flight of the apparatus is only given one time. The passing over, under, or through must happen yeah. during the flight of the apparatus after yeah. the catch, and it can be before, during, or after the rotational element. Each gymnast performing the main action must catch an apparatus. <laughs> When we catch one apparatus only, this is valid as CR only, not CR2, because those two gymnasts, they throw two apparatus, but eventually they catch only one apparatus. So this is valid only as CR, not CR2. This is CR. What about here? This is CR2, but the criteria are different. So we cannot evaluate the criteria. Different criteria on the catch, but both gymnasts made the same rotational element, CR2. Two. Collaborations with multiple throws. 
the two or, or more apparatus must be simultaneous. This is very important. A throw of two apparatus in rapid succession is not considered simultaneous. This is rapid succession, one after the other. So the second D subgroup judges, we have collaboration CC, CR, C multiple arrows, minimum three of each and penalty for each missing. We have the specific fundamental apparatus elements, minimum two of each, penalty of each missing. Collaboration is valid only when it has been successfully completed by all five gymnasts. Collaboration ends when the gymnast performing the main action finally catches her apparatus or with the catch of the main action gymnast three throw. So the time, this is in the beginning, not participation during the throw and rotation. This is participation. And at the end of the catch, this is not participation. You have to check the five gymnasts participating, not before the collaboration and not after the collaboration. The green gymnast is the main action gymnast. One gymnast creates the obstacle. The other gymnast makes a relation with the main action gymnast. Another is making a relation with the obstacle. So this is all valid. Where is the fifth gymnast? The fifth gymnast is making a relation with a gymnast who's making a relation with the gymnast. So this is not valid. No relation with the CR. The fifth gymnast must be in relation with the main action gymnast or create an obstacle or be part of the CR. Let's check. Watch again, first one gymnast bounces the girl to the second gymnast and then runs around the carpet. So her participation started before the collaboration starts. So this is not participation. Look, bounces, catch, runs, and do nothing during the collaboration. So she participated before the start of the CR. The gymnast on the side throw to the obstacle before the end of the collaboration. So this is okay because they throw before the end of the collaboration, the gymnast on the side. The left gymnast is only involved with a throw over the CR. Remember we said this is not involvement. She throws to the other gymnast. She does not throw to the gymnast participating in the obstacle. So this gymnast is not participating. So this is not valid. Watch it one more time. Gymnast number two over there in the corner is without apparatus completely. You see the gymnast on the floor. She does not pass. Nobody passes on her, the one in the corner, this gymnast. The one in the corner here, nobody passes over her this girl on the floor. The same for this gymnast, nobody passes over her. The right gymnast on the floor is not passing over and she's not in a relation with the obstacle.
One gymnast is not in relation with the main action gymnast. She receives the ball from a gymnast who receives the ball from a main action. Watch again this girl in the middle. She receives the ball from this girl, but does not participate in the CR itself. The one, the one girl in the middle. She takes the ball from this girl, and then that's it before the CR is started. Look at this girl over there in the corner under Sofia with the rope. She's not part of the collaboration at all. She does not collaborate at all. The use of rotational elements for group, ZE and DB each group in only difficulty change or R, because this is the same panel. This is very important. Check your routines. Each group in only one difficulty exchange or one R. The R is not registered before or after the DB or connections. For CC, each group in only one CC. Each group one time free, one time with support. Doesn't matter how is the support done, it's a support. So one time only. So one time in difficulty exchange, the next time in R is not valid. You see, they repeat it. Exchange, cartwheel. And then R, cartwheel. So the R is not valid because they have repetition of rotational preacrobatic group. Remember, we said that before or after the DB connections, we are not registering. So this is valid. Okay, how many times free and how many times with support? Check one more time. One time free is valid. Second time free, CR not valid. Third cartwheel with support is valid, and fourth times support cartwheel CR not valid. You understand now? The vertical rotates DE and DB, each group in only one difficulty exchange or R. So the rotation is not valid for the exchange. The DE is valid, but the rotation criteria is not valid. Three times same group of vertical rotation, they can be repeated identically, no problem. The use of DB rotations, The DB is valid and the DE03, but not as a, a rotational element. Same as RGI, a DB rotation does not give criteria if performed a second time.
This is a DB as rotation in CR, not recorded as a DB because it's only as a rotation in CR. So this is the summary, how you can repeat them, DE and DB and R, preacrobatic rotations, vertical rotations, and DB rotations. Attention that the DB may be repeated identically as a rotational element by the main gymnasts. This is permitted by all five gymnasts for the DB score, same DB by one gymnast as rotation for the DA score. Dynamic elements of rotation in CR, the types of body rotations may be any virgin, preacrobatics, vertical, or DB. A rotation that is not a virgin of these groups is not valid as the direct, di required dynamic elements of rotation. Thank you so much for today. We have concluded the presentations for today. Sorry for, for taking extra time, but as I mentioned in the beginning, um, I think it's not problem, Nofa, because uh, this rule for one is very important before the big competition. Yes, and tomorrow will be shorter because we have artistry and um, execution. execution. Yes, only we have one question, Gisele, on the chat group. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you repeat about jump series? What about you tell us at the beginning how we can count? Second low jump without back bend if she has same work with an apparatus. So this is in the beginning. This is the only question. If anybody has more question, can write to Marawan and Marawan can send to me. I can answer the, the questions, no problem. So this This is exception leaps with big bend in the code points. If you remember, we have. Um, notes number 8.3. And the deviation examples in the code of points. Can you see my code? So we have already, this is not a change, this is already in the code of points, but we are giving you the explanation. So this gymnast performed large deviation. So you downgrade, not downgrade, you give what we have in the table. So you don't give the 0 05, but you give what she performed, it's a 0 03. And in that case, when you have a series of jumps, you evaluate with the apparatus handling 0 04. 0, 06, 0, 06. Then 0, 06, the second example, 0, 06 and 0, 04. Then 0, 06, 0, 04, 0, 06, because this is an exception in the code of points. Because it's a series of jumps. But if you have in the exercise a jeté jump, already performed isolated, you cannot give the second isolated jeté jump because this is repetition of the shape. So you will only give the two back bends because they are in series after each other. Then you have jeté isolated 0, 04, then you have 0, 06 and 0, 06. You can give them because they are in a series but you will not give the last one, zero, four. But then the last example, you have zero, four isolated, zero, six apparatus handling, then zero, four, then zero, six. It is no longer here series, two after each other. This is isolated, this is isolated, isolated repetition, isolated repetition. So you will give the first 0, 04, you will give the first 0, 06, and this is a repetition of the first one, and this is a repetition of the second one. This is why you cannot give it. So 
So like this, I answered the question. The second question on the chat group, would judges count R and CR with medium throw? No, only high, double the height and CR with high or long. R only with double the height. Okay. So we conclude now. If you have more questions, please uh, write to Guzel or to Marawan, they will send me. And uh, thank you for being patient and I know the difference of time. And uh, good luck to you in your competitions and see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, Noha. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank see you, you tomorrow, please. colleagues. Bye. Thank you, Madam Noha. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Noha. Thank you, Gizelle. See thank you tomorrow. Thank you to both of you. Bye. Thank you, Noha. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Thank you. Kok kita aku enggak ada gambarnya sih? Thank you. Thank you, Noha. Terima No, ha. Marwan, thank you so much. We are finished.
Okay, thank you. Thank you, everybody. And have a great day.